Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your May Mega Deck reading. Uh, if you don't know, this is Mega Deck. It is a combination of uh, the Good Tarot, the Sacred Shaman Oracle, and the Shaman's Dream Oracle. Sure, we'll take both of these cards, by the way. Uh, and that's that. So we're just going to see what is coming up for you in the month of May. You have the King of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles. You have this water card along with the Page of, of uh, Cups here as well. So there could be, for some of you, if you're looking for love, uh, there could be a water sign that's coming in for you. Again, if you're looking for love. If you're not looking for love, that's good too because <laughs> actually, I feel like you're kind of uh, receiving some sort of reward here. Um, the Page of Cups is normally looking into the cup or you know, normally has that cup that they are holding on to. And that cup it is, um, you know, normally it has that fish inside the cup. And I always say that, you know, that fish could be like some sort of opportunity that you don't want to like allow it to escape, right? And just, I, I'm gonna switch back, but I, there's like this S here. It's I, I kind of made it up in my head, if I'm being honest with you, but when I, when I saw this card, I was like looking at the middle of it, and for some reason it looked like a dollar sign. You see that like middle part there? Um, like when I when I quickly looked at it, it looked like a dollar sign. So I don't know, I feel like there could be like money or resources coming in for you. With this water card as well, uh, number one, it could be a water sign, and you literally go up to this beloved card, uh, so it could be love. It could also be an earth sign as well, because you have a lot of earth. You have the king of pentacles and this earth card. Uh, it could be water with earth, earth with water, take it how it resonates, but um, I also feel that this is saying, like it's time to be a little bit more magical. I might have said this to you recently as well, that water energy, like I feel like it's saying, and I, I feel like the earth energy is saying like, okay, you, you, you have all the like earthly, stuff is correct like especially if you're like trying to build a business or a career or whatever it's like everything on earth is there but it's like i think you need to add a little bit more like you know creativity or intuition like a little bit more of that watery dreamy type of energy and you know especially if you're starting a business i think that's what's missing here is what that card is saying you have the seven of pentacles um, I just really get a time wasting energy here. <laughs> Not as in someone or something is wasting your time. I feel like you don't want to waste your time. I feel you're being very, it's like you're being very cautious with your energy because, you know, I, I feel like maybe you feel that you have wasted a lot of time in, in, you know, over the years. And it's like, you're really making sure that the situations that you enter into, you know, I always say that seven of pentacles is my card that says, is the juice worth the squeeze? Like, is it worth it for me to put all this time, effort, and energy into whatever I'm working on or not? And I kind of feel like you're asking those questions. Uh, this is why, right here, because of the King of Pentacles. I feel like you're looking for like sit situations, all situations, love, business, and otherwise, health, you know, pretty much everything. I feel like you're looking for situations that last for a long time. I feel like you just want more security, more stability in your life and uh, more predictability I'm getting as well. It's like the King of Pentacles, he's kind of predictable, not necessarily in a bad way. Like if it's a job, he can predict into the future how much money he's gonna be making. Same thing with business. You know, with business, it's very hard to predict the future. <laughs> and so I feel like you're kind of trying to create a little bit more of that predictability and you could be doing things uh, to make that happen. It's like in business, it's almost impossible to, you know, kind of be able to predict where things are gonna go, but you could be like adding on services. You could be um, diversifying the way that you make money in your business or whatever. It's not like, I don't think it's perfect, but it's making things maybe a little bit more predictable or a little bit more secure. Um, and you know, that's pretty much what I feel here. I feel this in everything too. Like this could be love I'm getting as well with that King of Pentacles. Like maybe you're deciding to communicate more with your partner um, just to so to make it more predictable because someone could always leave, right? <laughs> but I feel like if you have good communication and everything, things will be fine. Uh, with that King of Pentacles, here you go. You have the Queen of Wands. Uh, I feel like either you or someone, or you're very attracted to a person at this time. So Queen of Wands about being kind of like bold, assertive, really going for something that you want. So I kind of feel it's time for you to make your move or to uh, get moving towards something that you desire. Uh, with the Seven of Pentacles, you have the Nine of Swords. We see this twice here. You have the Nine of Swords and the Spiral card. Uh, the Spiral card isn't necessarily bad in this deck, but the Nine of Swords is like having a nightmare, waking up, being stuck in a nightmare. So it can represent a, a spiral. You know, it can represent something uh, that repeats over and over and over again. And this is what you are trying to avoid in this reading, clearly. I do kind of feel like you're getting down to the details or something. Like if we go this way, you go down to the Page of Swords here. And the Page of Swords 
can represent like being a, a detective. It can represent really looking into like the things that you do in your life or like why things happen the way that they happen. So it's like you're really looking for answers. We're gonna have to see where that goes. Uh, with the water and the page of cups, you have this page of pentacles. Uh, someone's being too cautious, I feel. It's like there needs to be communication. If this is love, it's clearly, clearly, it could be a water with earth or earth with water. Take it how it resonates. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be. This is a general reading. Could be anything, but it's like clearly someone needs to open up and communicate here. Um, you know, if this is love. For others, I feel that this could represent education. I always get these cards of education. This is for, for you in particular, Leo. And the Page of Pentacles is a card of studiousness. It's like a card of learning as much as you can about you know, whatever it is that you're doing in life to become more successful. And, uh, you know, again, I'm a big fan of self-education, mostly because of all the Capricorn energy we had. We had we had Saturn and Capricorn back in 2016. We had Pluto and Capricorn. Pluto's gonna go back into Capricorn, then it's gonna leave officially. But just because a planet leaves doesn't mean you are done learning from it. So, you know, basically when it leaves, you have to Im implement all the lessons. And with all that Capricorn energy, I think self-education, like finding an answer, not just like relying on like the government or like, like Mark Zuckerberg or, you know, whoever the hell, some like authority figure to give you an answer to something, uh, doing it for yourself. And especially with Pluto and Aquarius as well, doing it yourself, finding the answer yourself, that's where the true success is going to come from. Uh, you have this four of wands here in the next row. Some of you I do feel could be getting married, um, you know, if you're already with a person, by the way. And uh, you have that King of Pentacles in the earth, this earth card at the end. So it looks to me like this will be something permanent <laughs> for most of you. Uh, you know, uh, for others, if you are looking for love, definitely could be a person that you will marry in the future. Um, so love looks really good. This is also really good for freedom. Again, Four of Wands is the card of freedom in the tarot. It kind of represents being set free. So, you know, a lot of you could be completing one cycle in your life and moving on to the next. Uh, next, you have this Lost Compass card. Again, I was getting money right off the bat with this card. It says getting back to integrity, but really I feel it's saying you're getting back to basics. Or you're, All I can think about is uh, South Park. Uh, so, you know, leave a comment, co comment down below if you know what I'm talking about with integrity. But uh, what I would say here is I feel like for a lot of you, you're just do doing things because you want to do them, which is super powerful at this time. And um, it's it's almost like I get a very weird message here. It's like you're not trying to fit a certain mold. It's like if you look at YouTube, for example, it's like, you know, it's like they're trying to force shorts and like do all this other stuff. And I've kind of just given up. <laughs> I've said, you know, no, like it doesn't that like for this channel, I, I put up the shorts that are just clips from my videos, which don't do, you know, that doesn't do very well on shorts. But at the same time, it's like, I'm not going to like force myself to do some something that I don't want to do. And I kind of feel that for you here where it's like, you know, there are things that, you know, it, would it be beneficial for me to learn how to do them? May, maybe, but it's like, it, do, it just doesn't align with what I want to do. So, you know, I feel for a lot of you, it's like you're doing things because you want to do them, not because you're like being told that you have to do them and, you know, whatever, whatever it is, this could be in love and business and whatever. It's like, you're, I feel like you're not trying to fit situations, but I mean this in a good way. You know, it's like, you're being more yourself. You have this middle world card. So I kind of feel that you are very focused on the 3D right now, which I feel is a good thing, right? I know a lot of spiritual teachers are like 5D and you know 12D and all this other stuff, but it's like, um, we are humans here on earth to have an experience. I believe we are spirit on earth having a hu human experience. We are not here to have a spiritual experience. And I know gasp, right? Like how dare a spiritual teacher say that, but uh, uh, like we're humans. Last time I checked, this is like real skin and I'm a real human. So, you know, we are here to have a human experience. And I think people can get too caught up in the whole like 5D, you know, blissed out, dying in a sweat lodge type of type of thing here. So, you know, I feel like you are very 3D this week, but again, I feel like that's a good thing, <laughs> not a bad thing. Uh, again, you're probably focused on creating your own reality or, you know, doing things that you want to do, which is kind of like what I get here. Uh, the Page of Cups just popped out. I don't take pop outs, but you know, it's kind of interesting. With the Four of Wands, you have these six of pentacles. Yeah, you're doing things more in balance as well. It's like sometimes I think people can get like caught up in a commitment, for example, where it's like you get into a relationship and then other areas of your life start to suffer. Um, really, the only thing I'm getting here is that you're doing things in perfect balance with these six of pentacles. And I feel like you're kind of spreading your energy. You're not spreading yourself too thin. I feel like you're spreading yourself just enough, right? And, you know, I think this is a good thing. Uh, with the Lost Compass, you have the six of wands. Love it. I love two sixes. If you've been watching me for a while, you know I love two sixes. To me, two sixes is confirmation for your path. Basically just says you're going the right direction. You're doing the right things that you need to do at this time. 
With this middle world card, you have the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles is, of course, a card of needing to let go of the past, but it's also a card of stability. And again, I kind of get that feeling here where it's like maybe you are more focused on the 3D this week because you need to create stability, right? Because you need to um, be able to pay your bills and all this other stuff. Trust me, it's like I have a lot of spiritual friends and I, I'm not a criticism. I don't judge anyone's way of life, right? I think we're all here to have our own experience and everything like that. But I have a lot of spiritual friends where really their life is a mess. <laughs> and, uh, you know, be, be because they are so focused on the spiritual, right? And again, that's perfectly fine. No, ju no judgments here, right? That's what they're here to learn. That's why they're here. And I just accept people for who they are, right? But you know, it, you know, to me, it's also a reminder for me where it's like I'm glad that I am. I do have that 3D side to my life where it's like I can pay my bills, for example, and stuff like that, right? And I kind of see that as very. I just get a very matter of fact energy is what I'm trying to say right there. Uh, next, you have this beloved card. You know, again, I feel that we are in a very heart-based time where with Pluto and Aquarius, it's like if you're not following what your heart is telling you to do, uh, then you're going to have a hard time. Um, but if you do, then you'll be very successful. So just listen to what you want. I also do feel clearly there could be a very solid love connection coming in for you here. Feels very grounded, very realistic. Um, you know, I feel like it could be a person who is more realistic as well. I feel like they even do things. This person, I feel like one thing, you know, again, if you haven't met this person yet, I feel like you are going to notice when you meet them that they do things very differently. Um, I feel like they're just different, you know, and that's probably the, <laughs> I know that sounds stupid, but I think that's probably the thing you're going to say is like, wow, this person's much, much different than what other people are like. So, you know, that that could be something that stands out to you. I kind of feel like that's true for everyone. Just based off the astrology, I think we are going to attract different people, but you know, there you go. Uh, you've probably learned your lessons with the spiral card. You know, you've probably learned from those past situations where it was just round, around, around, and now you're kind of like ending it. Uh, for others, I feel like you know that you have to end something that has been a round, round situation in your life, and you have to take something to the next level, which is really what I'm getting here. Uh, I'm not talking about love either. I'm talking about like business or work or something 3D, like I've been saying, could be like your health or some other type of concern. And um, you know, I feel like now would be a good time for you to do that. Uh, like whatever it is that you're fixing or you know, kind of like bringing into reality. And, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know how else to say what I want to say. So I don't know. There you go, <laughs> right? Take how it resonates. Uh, you have this Will of the Wisp card. It says, treasures hidden in the shadows. Yes. I say to everyone, and I've been saying for like the past, I don't know, like, 10 years that you have to move a lot of dirt to get to the gold. It's like, I, I think people don't realize how successful they could be right now uh, if they do the research. And we, yes, we have to do a lot of research. We have to do a lot of digging as well. It's like, you're not gonna just like magically find success. And the first thing that you do isn't gonna be successful either. It's like, if you're starting a new business, you might have to try a couple of different things to get it going. If you're taking a new direction in your business, same thing. But again, by doing your research and not, being, and not running away from, you know, the, the unknown, basically. That's where all your success is gonna come from. Like you always get the five of wands with me, Leo, and I always say that that card I call Indiana Jones because to me, it's a card of like going on some sort of crazy adventure, like running through a temple and, that's full of snakes and stuff like that to get some sort of treasure. And I feel like you've been doing that. Uh, with the beloved card, you have these six of cups, all these sixes, love it. You know, definitely going in the right direction. I feel this is a lot of confirmation for your path as well. I also feel with that beloved card, you know, six of cups can represent like your inner child and that beloved card can represent your heart. So maybe you need to add a little bit more childlike energy to the things that you're doing, like in work and business and career. Uh, I feel that that'll be very beneficial. With the spiral, you have the eight of wands. Uh, this is like quick success. You could be building a lot of momentum. Uh, towards things as well. I also feel this says there needs to be communication. Like if you're just thinking about a person here, it could even be a past person. You know, it's like sometimes like during Mercury retrograde, I think like maybe you are the ex that wants to go back to your ex. <laughs> and maybe you don't get the answer you want, but I always encourage people to get the answer if you can't stop thinking about it. It's like people always ask me, should I ask this person out? I'm like, well, yes, you're, the answer is yes, whether they say yes or no, because you're just sitting there wondering about it, which does absolutely nothing for you. So you might as well open your mouth and find out uh, because if you don't, you're just gonna drive yourself crazy. So, you know, I always say yes. And people always like, 
come back to me and they're like, they said no. I'm like, well, good. Now you know. Now you can move on with your life, right? It's like, I, I think people think that, that I'm going to be upset for them that the person said no. I don't care. Get over yourself, right? Go find out, find the answer because it, it will set you free. It's like, we. I think we, life is too short, right? People just sit around thinking like, oh, I wonder if this person, if I'm wondering if I just like stare at them from the bushes for a little bit longer, if they're going to notice me. Uh, no, they're not. So, you know, open up here. For some of you, this is someone who's opening up to you. With the Will of the Whips, Wisp card, you have the Hierophant, this gives me vibes of uh, learning everything that I've been talking about. The Hierophant is all about initiation. He's also about learning and education. So, you know, anything you can learn would be a really good idea. Uh, but I do feel like some sort of kind of like passing a test here as well, which could lead to a lot more success. Uh, next, you have this Earth card. Major focus for you in this reading. I feel like you're just focused on grounding things in reality. I also feel that you are very focused on creating like more stability. It's like the earth underneath you. You're trying to create this kind of, um, you know, this level of security in your life. And I even think you're doing things to kind of really set yourself up for the future as well. Kind of feels kind of nerdy to me in a good way. <laughs> it's like you could be doing things that are responsible. Like maybe you're like saving money. Maybe you're putting like a little bit of money in a 401k or whatever, or, you know, whatever you're into. I don't care. Um, and, you know, whatever it is, I feel like it's going to lead to you know, just feeling better. I think that when we start feeling better about things or we feel more secure, it can definitely make it make the rest of our life easier and it can remove some stress off our shoulders. So I think that's why doing those things is always a good idea. It's like, trust me, like me personally, I'm a Pisces. I'm, you know, I don't like to save money necessarily because who the hell cares? But, um, you know, what I would say is, you know, it does take a lot of pressure off if you just have a little nest egg where that you can kind of rely on, right? And I kind of feel like some of you, that card is just saying, I feel like you're thinking more responsibly nowadays and you're just kind of like creating more responsibility. You have this patience card. Uh, I don't know. I feel like you've been patient enough is what I feel like saying. I feel like you probably sighed just like I did when I said the word patient. So, you know, I feel like you've been patient enough. I, I feel like it's kind of like, you're like, okay, like when are things gonna get moving forward in my life? When am I gonna, you know, get things progressing? I'm gonna pull this next card as well. Yeah, you have the page of pentacles. You have almost every single page here, right? What's missing? I think you're missing the page of wants, but you know, I feel like you've learned enough and now it's time to put what you've learned into action. You have the page of swords as well. Again, page of swords like a detective. He really looks into things. He really examines things and he goes deep on the things that he wants to learn about. So, you know, I feel like it's time for you to kind of uh, like really do your research on things that you're interested in. Uh, let's see here, Leo, with the Earth card, you have the Queen of Pentacles, King and Queen of Pentacles, King and Queen of Pentacles. Uh, definitely could be an Earth sign. I would say if it's not an Earth sign, they probably have a lot of Earth in their chart. I feel, I'm, I'm almost positive that you've been getting a lot of Earth with me. Uh, but I feel like, you know, divine counterparts, very safe, very, very secure. You could even be attracting a person who is very safe and secure as in like maybe they have a 401k and like all that other stuff, right? <laughs> maybe they're very disciplined with their money or something. It's definitely standing out to me here. Uh, but there needs to be communication, eight of wands here. So someone has to open up, right? It's like, this is too much spying going on with the page of swords. So it's like someone has their eye on someone, whether it's you or them, I don't know. Obviously, if it's them, then there's nothing we can do to get someone that makes someone talk to us, especially if you don't know that this person is spying on you. But, you know, I feel like there needs to be some movement. With the patience card and the page of pentacles, you have the three of cups. Mm, this could be people who could help you significantly as well. So, you know, if... Um, yeah, this, like I get teamwork vibes here. It's one of those things where if you're trying to grow your business, for example, maybe there's a person you know. I'm not saying you hire them, but maybe they have some really good ideas for you or they could, you know, maybe they could come in and kind of like consult with you or give you some ideas. So it's kind of giving me those vibes. Uh, this could also just be people you know. Like it could be, you know, this is a card of community, your friends, your family. And there could be, I kind of feel that where if you need help on any area of your life, getting help from people would be a good idea. With the Page of Swords, you have the Three of Swords. Mm, could be a past person. Again, it, it is funny that I said that you could be the ex that wants to know going in this direction. And it might break your heart, but again, maybe it'll also kind of like let you know uh, where you stand. So if you're like, if you if you can't stop thinking about an ex, you know, I, I know this sounds wrong, but 
maybe having them tell you off <laughs> will will help you move forward, right? It's kind of like the medicine, you know, having to take the medicine. I also get like, I would get, if you are interested in a person, I would get moving here because I feel like that heartbreak could be that they're taken if you don't like get moving here, uh, Leo. So there you go. But uh, that's that, Leo. We are, we are gonna pull five main themes now. I just want to see uh, what else is going on for you here. Uh, you have this convention card, uh, all the pentacles cards. I feel that we, that especially you, Leo, you have to break free from convention. Convention. convention is the way things have always been done. And it's like the one thing that can hold us back. So, you know, come up with like new ways of doing things. Uh, next, you have this ostentation card here. You know, this card, you can see that this right here is meant to look fake right here. This is real. So I kind of feel like you could be attracting a person who maybe, um, you know, maybe you had a past person who was fake in <laughs> this person. I feel like they're like similar, but real. So pay attention to actions. I do feel, I say it to pretty much everyone because we're like in a time where we really have to pay attention to actions. You have this exaltation card. Now is the time for you to take action on something that you've been waiting to take action on. So it's if it's communication with a person or uh, starting a business or doing something new in your business, it's like now is the time. Uh, now is the time also to get more creative is what I'm getting, especially with that water card. Uh, next, you have this assertion card. Yep, I feel like it's time to assert yourself and to, you know, kind of like take action. Like I said, get moving. Do do the new things that you've wanted to do because they will lead to success. And uh, finally, you have this rebellion card. Everybody get everybody gets like these Aquarius cards. This is Mars in Aquarius, for example. And, um, you know, I really feel it's Pluto in Aquarius just saying like, don't be afraid to experiment. Don't be afraid to try your new crazy ideas. Um, you know, that's where the success is gonna come from. But this looks pretty good here, Leo. So thank you for being here, Leo. Really appreciate it. And definitely enjoy your month.